Boleh dengar suara saya? Boleh. Eh, baik, kita akan mulakan Boleh, kita punya sir. kuliah yang pertama kita. Uh, kuliah yang pertama kita iaitu sistem konsep. Uh, saya harap anda uh, mendapat uh, apa yang saya sharing uh, di sini. Eh. Baik, sistem konsep yang pertama iaitu chapter 1, computer system. Eh, computer system. What is the computer system? Uh, uh, computer system. Uh, topic number 1, computer system 1.1 is system concept. 1.2 is number system and a representation. Now, 1.3 is information coding scheme. 1.4 is logic gate and simple logic circuit. Jadi, ini yang akan kita belajar. This is uh, our topic for 1.0 system, computer system uh, for subtopic. Okay, for today, at the end of the lecture, you must explain the process of uh, processing cycle, input, process, output, and storage. You must know what is input, process, output, and storage. So, what is a computer? So, what is a computer? Before you know what is computer, let me uh, watch the the video Saya so, so nak tanya video tu memang tak dengar suara ke? Oh tak ada. Okey tak apa. Video itu ialah pengenalan untuk uh, komputer. Apa dia komputer? Hari ini kita akan uh, belajar apa dia komputer. Jadi video itu hanya untuk pengenalan saja apa what is a computer system. So Is a number one. What is a computer system? A computer is an electronic device, accept input data, process data, and produce output information. 
So, komputer itu akan terima data dan dia akan proses data dan dia akan produce information. What is different between data and information? Data is a raw. Raw data. Maknanya data itu ialah data yang belum diproses. Information is a data will be processed. Contoh data, nama pelajar, umur pelajar atau tempat tinggal pelajar. Jadi, kalau, maaf ada empat orang yang maklum masa, okey. Kalau uh, orang bertanya, apakah, apakah, apa nama, komputer, maka kita akan jawab komputer itu adalah yang boleh terima data, yang boleh proses dan yang boleh memberikan information kepada manusia. Produce information mean uh, informasi yang di diproses melalui data. Okay. What is a computer system? Computer system is a complete computer include operating system, software and hardware which are necessary to make a computer function. What is operating system? Operating system is a software to operate the computers. This is for example, operating system. Maknanya dalam operating system itu, setiap komputer mesti ada operating system. You must have an operating system at your computers. Jika tak ada operating system, komputer itu tidak berfungsi. It's not function for your computers. Adakah anda mendengar suara saya? Dengar, eh? Dengar. Dengar, kan? Dengar. Okay, nah. Kalau dengar, Alhamdulillah, takut suara saya terlampau perlahan. Okey, baik. Saya ulang lagi sekali. You must have operating system at your computers. If your computers is not operating system, your device cannot be used to task. Uh, cannot be used to task. You cannot use for your device. Tak boleh kita gunakan kita punya kita punya computers. Your computer must be a hardware. Komputer anda mesti ada perkakasan. Kalau tak ada perkakasan, maka komputer pun tidak berfungsi. Eh, tak, tak, tak berfungsi. Maka komputer mesti ada software and hardware. This is two component of computers. So, component of computers, two component of computers, computer have hardware and software. What is a hardware? Hardware is center processing unit, input device, Output device and device storage. This is hardware. Di dalam komputer ada center processing unit, ada input device, output device dengan storage device. What is a software? Software have a system software and application software. Two type of software, system software and application software. So, what is a processing processing a unit? Processing unit mean allow to process any data or get the data from from user. So, processing unit mean is a brain of computers. Uh, maknanya komputer ini ada otak. Kalau komputer tak ada otak, maka ia tidak boleh tidak boleh uh, berfungsi dengan baik tidak boleh proses dengan baik so komputer cpu mean interpret and carry out the basic instruction that operate a computer komputer ini akan membawa apa sahaja instruction yang diberikan kepada uh, cpu untuk diproses iaitu Instruction ni daripada siapa? Who uh, give the instruction? Instruction give from a human. Maknanya, komputer, uh, human akan berikan instruction kepada komputer dari CPU atau Center Processing Unit, maka ia akan diproses. Dan di dalam komputer CPU, ada dua komponen. Two component of CPU. Control Unit and arithmetic logic unit. 
what is control unit? Control units mean control unit mean control the whole of the computer component. The whole of the computer con con uh, component, the control unit must be controlled. For example, kita ada otak kanan dan otak kiri. Dalam sistem unit pun, eh sorry, dalam uh, central processing unit pun ada dua komponen. Iaitu otak kanan dan otak kiri. Otak kanan dipanggil control unit. Otak kiri dipanggil arithmetic logic unit. What is arithmetic logic unit? Arithmetic logic unit mean is perform arithmetic and mathematical operation. Arithmetic logic unit dia akan uh, menjalankan proses arithmetic logic dan uh, mathematic operation. It is ALU. Contoh dalam kalau kita menggunakan otak manusia, ia adalah otak kiri. Otak kiri yang menjalankan sistem sign, uh, matematik, nah, itu ialah otak kiri. Sama juga dengan komputer, ia ada dua. Control unit and arithmetic logic unit. Control unit uh, will interpret instruction to coordinate, eh, to coordinate instruction. And logic uh, arithmetic logic unit to uh, perform arithmetic logic and mathematical operation. Okay, now input device. Dalam komputer tadi ada hardware kan? Dalam komputer ada hardware. Hardware yang pertama tadi ialah a system processing, center processing unit. This is a number one for device uh, hardware in computers is center processing unit. This is number one hardware, center processing unit. And number two is input device. What is input? Input mean get the data. Input mean get the data. So what the hardware will get? The data from user or human. So, getting the data come from keyboard is number one. Input data, number one is uh, input device. Number one is keyboard. From data, user will be uh, get uh, put uh, the data. Number two, pointing device. From pointing device, for example, mouse, you can click the cursor. At your computers from 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 mouse, touchpad, uh, joystick, and etc. Type number uh, number three at input device is scanner and reading device. Is scanner and reading device. For example, barcode scanner, uh, QR code scanner. This is input device and scanner to scan uh, graphic or scan. Uh, you can scan any uh, graphic or uh, text at your scanner. Number four is touch screen. Touch screen, uh, your computers can do the touch screen. You can look at uh, the supermarket, the computer at uh, counter. Input touch screen. So, input device yang seterusnya, pen input. Ini ialah stylus pen. For example, stylus pen. Uh, this is input device. Graphic tablet. Uh, this is input. Input uh, device. Number six, voice and audio input. Voice and audio input. Uh, device. Example for device is microphone. Microphone is input device for voice. Uh, voice recognition. This is for uh, biometric input. Okay, number seven. Video input. Video input can get from DSLR, webcam, phone, uh, phone camera. For example, you can get uh, the data. You can put the data from your computers. And number eight is biometric input. Biometric input, uh, 
fingerprint, for example, fingerprint, iris recognition, uh, face uh, recognition. Uh, biasanya biometric input ini digunakan untuk security, untuk security input. Okay, next for hardware is number three output device. What is output device? Output device is component. Any component can convey information to people. Jadi apa sahaja perkakasan yang boleh memberi maklumat kepada orang ataupun human itu dipanggil output device. Example display device. Display device, monitor, LCD projector atau kita kalau pergi ke uh, hentian RNR kita akan nampak billboard ha, ataupun di sandboard mana-mana uh, di Kuala Lumpur, Johor, Baru, dekat uh, atas bangunan, di tepi bangunan, itu dinamakan billboard. Ha, itu ialah display device. Apa saja paparan yang boleh kita lihat dan baca dan boleh memberi manfaat kepada kita, information, itu dipanggil display device for hardware output. Number two is printer. Printer any printer inject printer uh, desjet printer uh, impact printer impact printer ni jaranglah kita guna dah sekarang uh, itu ialah printer lama tapi masih lagi uh, masih lagi digunakan and number 3 is output device output device contoh yang diberi ialah headset and speaker okey headset bukan keseluruhan headset ini ialah Output device. Headset itu ada dua. Input device dan and output device. Input device for headset is microphone. Sebab headset ini ada dua. Satu microphone dan satu lagi speaker. Yang dimasukkan dalam output device ialah speaker. Bukannya microphone itu. Ha, jadi berhati-hati. Nanti kalau dalam PSPM. Example for uh, output device. Anda letakkan headset, pastikan anda tahu headset itu kalau output dia ialah speaker, bukannya mikrofon. Okey. Setakat ni, faham? Okey, next. Kita pergi kepada storage. What is storage? Storage is record for the data. Record for the data uh, for the future use. Itu ialah storage. Kita record ataupun simpan, save your data to future use. Ha, itu ialah storage device. Apa sahaja hardware, any component of hardware can record or retrieve data to the future use, it is a storage. Contoh di dalam storage ialah hardware drive. Hardware drive, example for hardware drive is hard disk. Dalam komputer kita ada hard disk. Dan satu lagi ialah SSD. Yang terbaru ialah SSD iaitu Solid State Drive. Ini untuk kelajuan komputer menggunakan SSD lebih laju berbanding dengan hard disk dalam penyimpanan. And number two, portable flash memory. Portable flash memory ni selalu kita panggil dia sebagai uh, pen drive. Uh, sebagai sebenarnya ialah thumb drive. Uh, thumb drive atau dan contoh lain ialah memory card. Memory card ni banyak jenis memory card. Ada SD, S, uh, banyak lagi lah micro. Uh, dia ada banyak jenis-jenis uh, memory card. Memory card ataupun thumb drive itu dalam uh, dalam jenis portable uh, flash memory storage. Number three is cloud storage. Cloud storage mean you can uh, save or record your data at cloud. Cloud mean awan. Maknanya kita boleh simpan di awan. Awan ni maksudnya ada server lah dekat situ. Contoh dekat Google Drive, Dropbox, YouTube dan macam-macam lagi lah yang kita boleh gunakan untuk kita simpan data. Apa kelebihan kita menyimpan data menggunakan uh, cloud storage berbanding dengan hard disk or flash memory. Jika kita simpan contoh di dalam flash memory, kita gunakan pendrive tiba-tiba pendrive kita rosak atau hilang maka you can can you cannot 
achieve for the data. You cannot access for the data. But if you uh, save your data at your cloud storage, you can access the data anytime and anywhere. This is uh, advantage you you use uh, cloud storage. And number four type of uh, storage device is optical optical disk. Optical disk example for optical disk is CD, DVD, Blu-ray. Uh, yang sekarang jarang kita gunakan lah. Kita gunakan ni. Uh. Okay, next. System software. What is a system software? Ini ialah komponen yang kedua di dalam komputer. Dalam komputer ada dua komponen. Iaitu hardware dan satu lagi ialah software. This is komponen number two for computers is system software. What is system software? System software is program that control or maintain the operation of the computer and its device. So, in system software have operating system or OS, operating system. What is operating system? Operating system is a program to coordinate all activities among computers or mobile device hardware. Type of Operating system, three type of operating system. Type number one is stand alone. Stand alone operating system example is Windows, Mac OS, Red Hat, uh, Linux. This is example for uh, stand alone operating system. And number two, operating system is server. Server. Example for operating system for server is Windows Server 2019. Why 2019? Windows, Microsoft will be stop the produce for uh, server at Windows Server 2019. Why? Because the new the new product of Microsoft uh, from um, uh, Windows 8 to uh, Windows 11 is a new product for Microsoft can use the server. Maknanya Microsoft tidak lagi keluarkan Microsoft server untuk OS. Jadi uh, Windows yang ada sekarang daripada Windows 8 sehinggalah Windows 11 sekarang yang terbaru ia boleh digunakan di server. Baik. Number 3 type of operating system is embedded or mobile. Embedded mean Kita beli saja kok a device dia dah siap-siap dalam dalam uh, device kita sudah ada operating system. Contoh, for example, you buy the phone, automatically the phone have a operating system. For example, uh, kita membeli uh, handphone selain dari dari Apple, automatically dalam tu ada OS Android. Uh, your OS Android for any phone uh, kecuali uh, Apple dia menggunakan iOS dan jika anda menggunakan Blackberry kita menggunakan OS Sambian ok this is application software is type of number 2 in uh, software Number one is OS, operating system, and number two is application. What is application? Application means any program will design to uh, make user productive and assist them with personal tasks. Itu ialah application software. Ha, jadi kalau kita contoh, kita nak membuat uh, surat, kita tak boleh menggunakan Windows. Windows Itu ialah operating system. Jadi kita kena guna kita kena guna uh, Microsoft Office untuk kita type surat. Jadi Microsoft Office itu ialah application software. Okay, this is example for application software for uh, use for graphic, productivities, uh, personal interest. Communication, this is example for application software. Security, file system and disk management, this is uh, system software. Okay, now 
Operating Information Processing Cycle. Baik, kita sudah masuk kepada tajuk seterusnya. Information Processing Cycle. Sebelum saya masuk Information Processing Cycle, ada apa-apa persoalan? Jika tak faham, boleh interrupt terus. Ada apa-apa soalan? Jika tak ada, saya teruskan. Tak ada? Okey, tak ada. Kita masuk pada Information Processing Cycle. Information Processing Cycle is a sequence of operation sequence of operation which work together repeatedly in a cycle. So, dalam information processing cycle ini ialah sequence. Sequence apa maksud sequence? Sequence ini ialah daripada yang pertama dia mengikut urutan. Tidak boleh melangkaui urutan tersebut. Ha, jadi, dia bermula dengan input, proses, output and storage. Four stage for information processing cycle is input, process, output and storage. Kita tak boleh melangkau daripada output terus pergi input tak boleh. Dia mesti mula dengan input, process, output and storage. Nah, jadi dalam proses itu ada dua. Sama ada kita nak output atau nak storage. Baik, this is for example uh, design for input, process, output and storage. You must follow for the shape of information processing cycle. Anda kena ikut bentuk-bentuk uh, yang ada di dalam Uh, IPC iaitu information processing cycle input, the shape for input is parallel program you must follow for the shape if you draw the different shape is a wrong for your answer uh, pastikan eh, selalu pelajar-pelajar membuat kesilapan di uh, untuk menjawab di dalam PSPM dalam bentuk-bentuk uh, yang mereka buat sendiri. Jadi bentuk itu jangan diubah sebab ia telah memang itulah bentuk-bentuk dalam dalam komputer. Uh, Bukan dalam komputer dalam uh, uh, apa nama uh, pembelajaran SC015. Jadi input is parallel program, process the shape is a uh, rectangle, output parallel program and storage the A shape is uh, cylinder. You must follow the shape. And then the arrow. Arrow must be uh, one way for input and process to output. Uh, this is one way. Uh, but as it is different for the storage. Storage is two-way two -way arrow. Why two-way arrow? Because storage you can save and you can get the data from storage. Ha, jadi, kita pergi satu persatu. Input data is accept for the data. You can get any data from input device and then process. Computer will be processed from uh, center processing unit. This is the main uh, or brain the computers. Computer must transform data into information and number three is output. Computer will be produced information and number four is storage is uh, information store the data record the data for the future use okay jangan ubah bentuk setiap uh, input process and output storage eh? okay check number one kita tengok check point number one kita pergi kepada kita punya tutoran uh, soalan tutoran Okey, tengok nampak soalan tutoran. Soalan yang pertama. Week 2.1 lecture. Nampak tak semua? Assalamualaikum. Ba. Semua boleh nampak? Nampak. Okey, nampak eh. Baik, question number one is state the component of the computer system. Ha, siapa yang boleh jawab ni? Aiman boleh jawab Aiman? State the component of computer system. Aiman boleh bantu? What is the component of computer system? Yang lain boleh bantu? Siapa boleh jawab soalan nombor satu?
Ah, uh, CPU saya. CPU salah. Component of computer. Oh, ini. Hardware. Uh, hardware. Hardware yeah, tengah software. software. Dia komponen of computer ni ada berapa? Dua. Dua iaitu? Software. Yes, yeah, software, software and hardware. Software and hardware. Ataupun hardware and software. It is a component of computers. Okay, question number two. Draw the a diagram in information processing cycle. Draw the diagram. Kita uh, draw yang diagram ini eh. Yang diagram ini. Kita draw diagram ini. Input, process and uh, storage. Jangan lupa bentuk, bentuk uh, input, process, output and storage itu kena ikut. Kalau bentuknya uh, salah, maka salahlah jawapan anda. Okay, number three, describe the operation involved in information processing cycle. Okay, number one, what the activities for information processing cycle? Apakah activity yang pertama is number one for uh, IPC, information processing cycle? What is activity number one? Siapa boleh jawab? Number one is input. Input. So, what is input? You must describe. What is input? Input is? Read and accept data. Yes. Input is accept or get the data from from user. Okay, number two, activity number two is process. What is process? Process I is? Some data information. Manipulate data from user. Manipulate data from user to... Uh, produce information. This is process. Number three is output. What is output? What is the output? Output is? Apa dia output? Con convey information to people. Yes, convey information to people or produce information. Uh, to produce information. And then uh, number four is Storage. What is storage? The data. Ah, the data what? What is storage? Saving, Saving data. data. Saving data or record the data for future use. Ah, itu ialah bagi storage. Okay. Kita teruskan. Kita punya uh, kuliah hari ini. Now, 1.1 is system concept. System concept explain the operating involved information processing cycle, input, process, output and storage. So, process of withdraw money from ATM. How ATM work? Number one, input the system read account information store at the magnetic stripe at the back of ATM card. Maknanya kalau kita pergi ke ATM, apakah input yang kita, yang kita nak masukkan di dalam proses, dalam mesin ATM itu? Yang pertama, you must uh, key in your your PIN numbers. You must key in your PIN numbers. This is number one process. Uh, number one process after your card will be uh, put it at your machine. And then process, what the process for ATM uh, machine? The process is verify ATM card. This is number one, verify ATM card. Number two, verify PIN number. And determine the transaction type, determine account type, determine amount of withdraw, uh, system calculate balance, and system determine the note required. This is process at, at the ATM machine. So the output uh, is system provide paper receipt of the transition. The system will be message on your screen. Lalunya dia akan keluarkan balance. Right. System uh, dispense money from ATM machine. This is output. Uh, you can get the money from the ATM machine. After you will draw your money. Okay, next storage. System keep storage, save the data and time transition. And then number two 
system save the latest balance. Ini ialah how uh, ATM work. Okay, boleh? Jadi, ini ialah bagaimana kita memasukkan data 8 times 2 equal 16. Jadi, datanya adalah input datanya adalah nombor 8 dan nombor 2. This is input for uh, data 8 and 2. You pressing the keyboard and process is multiply the uh, 8 and 2. And output produce uh, the result for 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 is the output for for the process of 8 multiply, uh, multiply the uh, 2. This is output is 16. So the storage data will be store or record the result is 16 to your memory for a future use. Okay. Zulkifli is traveling from uh, Bukit Jalil to Putrajaya when he reached the Putrajaya toll gate. Zulkifli tapped uh, his touch and go card on uh, the card reader. Identify two activities for each operating in the information processing cycle involved during touch and go transition at Putrajaya toll gate. So the input of the activities is the card reader data. The card reader is a read balance and card reader is a exit to toll gate. The process is the card reader verify touch. Uh, system calculate the balance of your uh, touch and go and system calculate amount to deduct for your touch and go. Output, the system will be display balance of the screen and uh, the screen will be display uh, error if your card is not enough uh, balance right? and then uh, the system will produce uh, sounds the tool gate or barrier will be rise up this is output and storage the system store balance of your amount in uh, touch and go and then the transition history will be uh, record at your touch and go. This is a uh, storage. All right. So we will go to checkpoint one point one. A system processing unit. Okay. This it for lecture today. I hope you must understand what the con system concept. Boleh mendengar semua? Kita uh, tak nak berlanjutan agar uh, kuliah kita seterusnya. Kita akan jumpa pada hari Selasa pukul 8 hingga pukul 9 untuk yang seterusnya. Baik, sebelum saya akhiri kuliah kita, pastikan anda menaip ataupun mengisi kehadiran anda. Ramai lagi yang belum isi kehadiran. Ada satu, dua, tiga, empat. Ramai lagi yang tak, tak mengisi lagi kehadiran. Saya harap anda isi kehadiran anda untuk menunjukkan anda hadir kuliah pada hari ini. Kerana kehadiran ini akan diambil oleh HCP. Okey, itu saja untuk hari ini. Jika ada soalan, uh, boleh anda tanya secara personal, uh, private message kepada saya atau anda boleh bertanya uh, melalui kita punya telegram group. Uh, anda boleh tanya dekat situ. Okey, jumpa lagi uh, di kuliah akan datang. Jika ada soalan, boleh ditanya di sana lah.